Welcome back everyone to a new video. Today I have a new DeFi protocol for you. This one is called DeFi Frank and the name might have given it away. This protocol's native token is packed to the Swift Frank by using Bitcoin and Ethereum as collateral. If you mint this stablecoin you can earn a very high yield. At the moment it's around 40%. How everything works, where you have to be careful and where I see the biggest risk coming up in this video. Okay, the first thing that we have to understand about the token, the DCHF, is that it's either collateralized by Bitcoin or by Ethereum. And on the chart you can see that it's over collateralized by Ethereum by 220% and by Bitcoin at 200%. Another algorithmic stablecoin that uses Bitcoin or a basket of other cryptos as collateral would be DAI. So the idea is the same, over collateralize the stablecoin so it cannot lose its pack. And here on the bottom you can find the history and I know it's not a long history, it's just been out for a month. So now let's move on to the next part. If you want to mint this stablecoin, you need either Ethereum or wrap Bitcoin. And you can put this up as collateral and borrow the token against it. There's a one-time borrowing fee of 0.5% and a redemption fee as well. And that's how the protocol makes money. But here's where you have to be careful. Always over collateralize your position by, I would say, 200%. So if the market drops, your position doesn't get liquidated. But I guess that's up to you and how much risk you want to take. Let's say you got some Swift Frank tokens, then you can deposit them into the stability pool. I would always go for the one with the higher APR. At the moment, they're about the same, both at 37%. And then you earn rewards in Moneta and Ethereum or Bitcoin. We haven't talked about Moneta yet, but if you stake this token, you earn a share of the revenue that the protocol generates. Now let's talk about what are the best ways to make money with this protocol. And the first thing comes to mind, you can take out a loan and use that loan. For example, you can, yeah, you can basically leverage your position. Like, let's say you take out a loan and buy more Ethereum. You already put up Ethereum as collateral and then you just buy more. At a time when you think Ethereum is undervalued, I think it's a good idea. Next thing you can do is deposit the token into the stability pool and earn Ethereum, Bitcoin and Moneta. Once you have some Moneta, you can stake it to earn some of the borrowing and redemption fees. Yeah, and I think those are good ways to earn money with this protocol. Let's talk about some of the use cases. I divided it into three categories. One is for borrowers, the other is for stability providers, and the last one is for stakers. Yeah, I mentioned it earlier, if you take out a loan, you can use that loan to buy more crypto if you want to leverage your position. I don't recommend that. I think if you use too much leverage, that is only dangerous and you should be extremely careful. And for me, I would only be a stability provider and they actually benefit from someone who gets liquidated. And last but not least, the stakers. I, I also said it earlier, if you stake Moneta, you earn fees that are generated by the protocol. And if you believe in the project, I would definitely be a staker as well as a stability provider. Now let's talk about the biggest risk that I see. And it might be kind of obvious because like when you have a market crash and let's say we crash another 50, another 50, 60% and this protocol really hasn't been stress tested yet. Does it work? That's the question on my mind. Another thing that you have to keep in mind if you're not invested in Bitcoin or Ethereum yet, and let's say you buy Ethereum at $1,500, you take out a loan and keep it for three months. During this time, the price of Ethereum drops a lot. And even though you got rewards from the protocol, your dollar value went down because the price of Ethereum dropped. But to be fair, this could also go the other way around. So I'm really curious, what do you think of this project? Please let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more crypto